Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMD and I'm back with a brand new video and this video is more of a, of a comparison between the two Audis, we've got the Audi, um, the original R8 and the Audi Evo and for me personally, it's just something that I've really just wanted to try since since the update's been out, um, I just, when I, whenever I've gotten the, the, the new Audi Evo, I just don't feel like it feels any quicker than the original, I can feel that it's probably not as pitch sensitive, probably not as, um, easy to spin it or bin it but it seems like it's lost just a little bit of that raw pace that sort of that the old Audi to me it turned in perfectly the front end on that car was to die for and I feel like there's a little bit more understeer in the Evo yes it may be a little bit safer and a little bit less edgy but I feel like the edginess is what made the R8 so fast in the first place and I just wanted to test it I'm actually going to run the exact same setup on both the cars I'm going to run the Evo first around Mizano I'll do a couple of laps just to make sure I get a, a proper lap in and I'm going to run the exact same setup on the old Audi and I'm going to see where it goes but I, I've always felt like that the old Audi around Mizano was pretty damn nice um the front end was just hooked up and yeah I've always wanted to test it so I'm going to test it and let's see if it's even worth jumping in the Evo so after a few laps this is the best lap we actually managed to do um, at the moment we got a 34 one we managed to improve it just a little um, still felt like there was a little bit of understeer in the car at certain points um, comparing it to the the old Audi um, from the last time I actually drove it was pre-season um, AOR this season we actually had an evaluation race around here and I picked the Audi the, um, the the predecessor to the Evo and yeah the front end felt nice and I was just wondering whether it's the actual 2019 update that's changed the handling of the Audi slightly but I guess we'll find out when I drive that car next but um, yeah just like through this corner here it feels a little bit more understeery compared to when I when I use the um, the other Audi and th those are the little little things that I noticed through this corner though I'd probably say it's a little bit more stable um, from what I remember when I did try when I did drive the other Audi it was a little bit sketchy into the into that corner and pretty much all the corners where you got a trail break and turn and you got to turn and get the car slowed down quite a lot that's where you know you sort of notice the difference of more stability with the newer car but we'll see if we get at the end of the lap and I'll catch you guys with the next lap. So here you see our best sector times and we were pretty much spot on with our sectors um, a little bit down in the first sector but nothing nothing too big and I managed to get the middle and the last sector down so yeah pretty happy with that but now I'll move on to the replay so you guys can have a look.
So now I'm gonna take pictures with my phone so we get the exact same setup and put it onto the old Audi and see if the setup reacts a little bit differently, see if the car reacts differently to the same sort of setup. Obviously this car is an Evo so it's pretty close to the old car, not exactly the same but pretty close. But I just have the feeling that the old car just has a little bit more turn and especially around a track like this where fast little changes of direction definitely gonna help you out a lot. So um, yeah, let's see. So as you can see the R8 just struggling to match the Evo, um, it was a little bit weird in the first sector it just seemed to understeer a lot more through the um, out of the second corner, seemed to understeer a lot more trying to get on the throttle but I'm going to run a side by side comparison lap and I'll see what you guys think. So pretty interesting, the Evo definitely seemed to have it in the first sector. Um, through the middle, extremely close, not a lot of difference. I actually thought I took a better line onto the back straight in the older Audi, but um, the Evo still managed to pick up quite good pace through there. And definitely in the last sector, I felt like the older Audi just had that little bit more turn in and it just seemed to get hooked up on the apexes of the corners a little bit better, but definitely better out in the last corner as well. Um, but yeah, I think for the first sector, the, the Evo was a just a little bit smoother, a little bit smoother with the power application as well. Not as much sort of wheel spin. Um, I definitely say as well that the Evo it tends to be a little bit more sure 
when you get on the brakes. So um, you don't sort of um, sometimes it's, it's you get like a weird sort of sliding, like you like you 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 know you're not going to lose it, but you can feel the car sliding just a little bit. And um, yeah, I feel like that eventually in a race that will you know start to make your tires deteriorate, and eventually you're going to start losing time. So overall, maybe I was wrong. The Evo does seem to be maybe just a tad better but i still think the cars are extremely close not a massive difference but anyway it's crypto tng like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first also make sure you go and follow me on twitch i'm on there live streaming so yeah peace